The world of knowledge is growing really fast, with lots of new discoveries happening all the time. Every year, around 2 million academic papers are published, spread across about 30,000 different journals. In 2023, there were some big breakthroughs like major advancements in nuclear fusion, making it more efficient to recycle lithium-ion batteries and significant progress in artificial intelligence. In March of that year, scientists did something amazing. They mapped the entire brain of a fruit fly. Now, a fruit fly's brain is tiny, just the size of a grain of salt, but it's still super impressive. With so many clickbait videos and news articles out there, it can be tough to find the most interesting discoveries. That's why today we're going to highlight a few that you might have missed. Let's dive in. Battling Alzheimer's. In the United States, Alzheimer's disease is the fifth leading cause of death for people over 65, with more than 130,000 Americans passing away in 2020 alone. Currently, around 7 million people are living with this disease. Similar stats are reported worldwide. Alzheimer's usually shows its first signs through memory issues, especially in remembering new information. It's tricky to notice early on because some forgetfulness is normal with age. But as the disease progresses, it can lead to confusion, disorientation, personality changes, severe memory loss, and even problems with speaking or walking. Unfortunately, once Alzheimer's starts, there's no stopping it. It's fatal, and there's no cure yet. Scientists are still figuring out what causes Alzheimer's. Autopsies of the brains of those who had it show two abnormal structures, plaques and tangles. Plaques are hard deposits of protein that build up over time, affecting brain regions. Tangles are twisted fibers of another protein. We're not sure why these form or why some cells are more affected than others. For decades, researchers have been trying various treatments in clinical trials to slow or stop Alzheimer's progression, but success has been limited. However, in 2023, there was a significant development. On January 6th, the US Food and Drug Administration approved a drug called Lachamabab. It's designed to target the amyloid plaques in the brain, a key feature of Alzheimer's. Although it's not a cure, it's a step closer to helping those battling the disease. But that's not the only good news. In July 2023, another drug called Donamab Denamabab, also targeting amyloid plaques, showed even more promising results. In some cases, it slowed cognitive decline by nearly 50%, and some patients continued to see benefits even after stopping the treatment. These drugs have potential side effects, from headaches to more severe issues like brain swelling, but they represent a massive leap forward. One exciting aspect is the possibility of using these drugs early on when someone is developing amyloid plaques but hasn't shown symptoms. If these drugs live up to expectations, we might see the world's first survivor of Alzheimer's in the coming years. Octopus, PTSD cephalopods, like cuttlefish, squid, and the star of today's show, the octopus, are some of the smartest creatures on Earth. Octopuses keep surprising scientists with their intelligence and nimbleness. They can solve tricky mazes, open lids to grab food, and even use tools. For instance, the blanket octopus can wield a tentacle from a Portuguese man of war as a weapon because they're immune to its sting. What's fascinating is that octopuses have not one but nine brains. Each arm has a small brain and there's a central one controlling the whole body. One of the craziest things they do is escape from their tanks in aquariums, sneak into other enclosures for a snack, and then return home before anyone notices. In 2016, an octopus named Inky from the National Aquarium of New Zealand even escaped to the ocean by climbing down a drain pipe. A study from 2023 suggests that octopuses might be even more intelligent than we thought. Researchers worked with Costello, a Brazilian reef octopus with a tough past, and noticed something surprising. Costello had been attacked by another sea creature, losing parts of two arms and suffering severe damage to a third. The researchers observed him acting strangely in his sleep, thrashing around and releasing ink, as if he was having nightmares. It's a big deal because it implies that octopuses, and perhaps other intelligent animals like dolphins, elephants, and apes, might experience nightmares. However, some argue that Costello's behaviors might have been due to a deteriorating brain in the final stages before his death from a parasite. 
Since it's tricky to scan an octopus's brain, future studies are needed to explore this intriguing discovery further. Screaming plants. Here's some interesting news about plants that might sound surprising, especially for those into plant-based diets. In March 2023, Researchers from Tel Aviv University discovered that plants might be making a kind of noise when they're stressed, like when they're really thirsty or if they've been physically damaged. Now, they aren't exactly screaming like we do, but these plants emit ultrasonic clicks that are way too high-pitched for our ears to hear. If we could hear it, it would supposedly sound like popping bubble wrap at the volume of a regular conversation. This stress could come from a lack of water or even if the plant is physically harmed. One researcher said, it's like the plant is screaming when you cut a tomato. Previous studies hinted that plants send out ultrasonic vibrations when stressed, but it wasn't known if these vibrations could turn into sounds that travel through the air. To test this, the researchers placed tomato and tobacco plants in their lab and set up ultrasonic microphones. Well hydrated and undamaged plants were pretty quiet, but the thirsty ones were loud, especially the tomatoes, making around 35 clicks per hour. Even when surrounded by people talking and walking, the plants still made these clicks. Strangely enough, different plant species have their own unique clicks. A machine learning algorithm could even tell the difference between tomato and tobacco clicks. Now we can't be sure if the plants are intentionally making these sounds as a distress signal. One suggestion is that it might be bubbles forming and popping in the plant's water, carrying tissue due to changes in pressure from the stress. This discovery opens up exciting possibilities for future research. Scientists are curious if insects like moths and flies can hear these sounds, or maybe certain beetles use the vibrations to detect if a tasty bug is munching on a nearby plant. In agriculture, this could mean that farms might one day use plant feedback to automate crop watering, minimizing wasted water by giving plants just what they need. It's all quite fascinating and we can expect more surprises as research into plant noises continues. New Perspectives Our final topic today is not a discovery, but a bold proposal that could change our understanding of the universe. Scientists have long been curious about the age of the universe, a crucial factor in predicting its past and future. Back in 1917, Einstein suggested a static universe, one that has always been and always will be the same. However, this idea was discarded with the discovery of expanding galaxies by Edward Hubble, leading to the widely accepted model of an expanding universe. Recent advancements in technology narrowed down the age of the observable universe to about 13.7 billion years. However, a new study from the University of Ottawa challenges this. Professor Rajendra Gupta proposes that the universe might be nearly twice as old as we currently believe, estimating a staggering 26.7 billion years. Gupta's idea combines the expanding universe model with Fritz Zwicky's tired light theory. Zwicky proposed nearly 100 years ago that light loses energy as it travels through space, causing it to appear red, shifted. Gupta incorporates both ideas, suggesting that the redshifting of galaxies may not be solely due to expansion. If so, galaxies would need much more time to reach their current state, aligning with Gupta's estimate. This extended age of the universe addresses some problems in astrophysics, such as celestial objects that don't fit the current timeline. For example, the Methuselah star, one of the oldest known stars, seems to be older than the universe itself. The James Webb Space Telescope has also shown galaxies at incredible distances, seemingly formed shortly after the Big Bang, challenging our current understanding. Gupta's proposal offers a solution to these puzzles. It's important to note that this is just one model and lacks widespread support. However, it serves as a reminder that science, especially in astronomy, is a continual process of learning and evolving. Humanity still has much to uncover about the universe, and being open to new ideas is crucial for advancing our knowledge. Thanks for watching the video, and if you found it informative, please like and subscribe to Time Capsule for similar content. We look forward to sharing more knowledge with you in the future. Until then, take care.